one of the very first things to evaluate in head injury is if there is a brain damage or not. And generally, if there is some short a loss of consciousness, but all of the routine neurologic and CT and MRI tests are normal, that is generally what is diagnosed as a concussion. If, however, there is evidence for any bruising of the brain, often seen with uh, changes on MRI and CT, especially MRI because contusion of the brain usually results in some edema and hemorrhage, which are very easily seen on the uh, T2 weighted images. If there is a contusion of the brain, we usually see pathologic changes, both uh, radiologically as well as on the real brain, like we see here. We can see that there's hemorrhage. We could see that there's some loss of definition sometimes between gray and white matter. We imagine that this brain has been contused, like any other part of the body can be contused uh, from simply a blunt uh, trauma. Uh, microscopically, a brain contusion uh, might expect to look like what you would expect it to look like. Perhaps you can see some hemorrhage. Perhaps you can see some edema. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Here's a section of brain. Uh, we'll go here right away to show you that this area is relatively normal. But in the area of the contusion, you see three things. You see an increase in the number of glial cells you see an increase of fluid. And because of that, you see a relative loss of, uh, of myelin or demyelination. So edema goes hand in hand with demyelination and gliosis. Edema, demyelination, gliosis. Edema, demyelination, gliosis. They all go hand in hand non-specifically with just about any type of uh, brain damage. In addition, if the contusion is strong enough, you will see hemorrhage as well, like we are seeing out here. This is acute hemorrhage. It is dissecting uh, into the brain. And as you can see, it is uh, apparent that there is no real reaction to this brain in this area in terms of gliosis but you can see that there are uh, the hemorrhage was there at least long enough to have uh, evoked these macrophages taking up the golden brown hemosiderin pigment. pigment. Uh, and for that reason, this was called a subacute contusion about a week old. But let's just uh, go back to the basics again with brain injury and say, if there's no sign radiologically or any other way for brain trauma, the uh, brain injury, even if there's possible loss of consciousness, is called a concussion. If there is evidence for uh, brain injury in which we have the triad of edema, hemorrhage enough, hemorrhage if it's severe enough, uh, gliosis or increase in number of glial cells, and secondary to that, loss of myelin, then that can be described as a contusion. Uh, thank you very much.